Arctic air going as far south as the Gulf, and we have another atmospheric river for the Pacific Northwest again. Good morning, I'm meteorologist Putes, December 14th, 2025. So I got good news and bad news. The bad news is you guys have already been seeing, especially in the Midwest, freezing temperatures, even wind chills below negative 10 to negative 20. And these freezing temperatures are gonna go all the way down to the Gulf, places like Texas, Louisiana, and the Florida Panhandle. So essentially anyone that lives beyond the Eastern Rockies and not in the Florida Panhandle, you guys are gonna see freezing temperatures. And this is pretty much gonna last today, and the worst of it's gonna be tomorrow morning. And this is happening for a couple of reasons. One, if we look at 500 millibars in midwinter troposphere, this trough that's brought in a lot of snow for the past few days is finally starting to move eastward. But because of that, it's been bringing in a lot of northerly flow and a lot of cold air aloft down. And second, on the west side of these troughs, you generally have a surface high pressure and we have seen that. And so if we go down to the surface, we've seen this high pressure going all the way from Alberta and it's finally traveled down to the central plains and it's brought in with it a lot of that cold air aloft and from the north. And remember that high pressures are winds going away from the high pressure and also clockwise flow. So from its current position in the central plains it's still bringing a lot of that northerly flow down to places like texas and the florida panhandle and all these areas but now for the good news is that this week is actually going to be relatively a lot more warmer than average so this week we're going to have a lot of flip-flopping from freezing temperatures to really warm temperatures to freezing temperatures to really warm temperatures so <laughs> just be prepared so going back at 500 millibars we have a high pressure somewhere around the southwest and the rockies and this is the same high pressure that's caused the atmospheric river that we saw earlier in the week for the pacific northwest and it's slowly traveling eastward so high pressures seem sinking air and clockwise flow, which is going to be significant because it's going to be causing this ridge, bringing in more southerly flow or warm, warmer air from the south. And the sinking air is going to be significant because it's positioned around the Rockies. It's going to help with the downslope warming effect. So if you live directly from the eastern Rockies, you guys are going to feel a lot more warmer air from the 50s to 60s. And if you live in places like Montana and Alberta, it's probably going to feel like 40s. So with that high pressure and the sinking air and also the topography with the winds going down from the mountain, it's going to compress that air, which is going to force it to be warmer. So back to that surface high pressure in the central plains with that clockwise flow on the other side it's going to be bringing in more westerly flow bringing in that warm compressed air into the plains in the midwest eventually so by tuesday in the midwest and plains we're going to see temperatures around the upper 30s and maybe even lower 40s and this warmer air is going to slowly travel to the east so eventually throughout this week we're going to see the majority of the country have warmer than average temperatures at least above freezing now the other bad news is this upper level high pressure is also the same reason why we're going to have another atmospheric river event this week for the pacific northwest and looking at the pacific we also have another upper level high pressure somewhere off the coast of California and this has helped navigating this atmospheric river to go to the Pacific Northwest directly. And with atmospheric rivers, it's basically one big plume of moisture being evacuated with a lot of winds aloft. Most of the concern for flash flooding is going to be in Washington, but especially for tomorrow and also a little bit of Oregon and Idaho. Today we're going to see light to moderate rain, but we're going to see a lot more heavier and frequent rain by like 9 p.m. Pacific time and this is going to last throughout the night and the morning.